Hi everybody, back again for part three. Uh, we're going to continue working with objects. So we looked in the last series about starting a log and manipulating objects and layering and rearranging and rotating. Uh, so now at this point we're on to adding some text. Uh, so we want to just add some text here for links and maybe some, you know, a link to a video or images or something like that that we're going to use for our project. Uh, you can manipulate the text by highlighting and then choosing any of the text options. So there's your fonts, uh, style and color menus, also characters, any additional you know language characters that you might need there, and any effects like video or sh or I'm um, sorry not video but shadow, uh, blur angle and distance, and then you know any of the color effects that you would want to do there, alpha channel for transparency, things like that, and then always OK to confirm. So let's go ahead. That's graphics, the graphics menu and text menu. Uh, the next uh, menu that we're going to take a look at is images. So there are always three options that you have for images. You have upload, which will grab a file off of your existing hard drive and allow you to drop that in to your library to use it for your project. You could hit link and you could grab a link from another website, uh, from a, an email or from you know another website. Certainly click that and then import that to your library. Or you can use grab. And grab will actually open up your webcam if you have one. Uh, and allow you to capture screen captures from your webcam or also uh, video from your webcam as you see fit. Uh, so then you can go ahead and click whatever object you want to use in your blog. You can add a frame to it. And image frames are basically just outlines for your objects. Add a little bit of flare uh, to your object and you get a preview here and then click use and that would be added then to, uh, to your blog. So my television uh, with my graphic frame has been added to my log, and now I can scale this down so that it's a much more usable size, and I can, you know, re um, reposition that as I need. And I ended up with a second version of it somewhere out here, so I can delete that second version and then manipulate the first and position that exactly where I need it. I may have to scroll down a little bit here so you can see not only my uh, television graphic here, but also the frame that I had inserted um, to accompany it. And then I can just click away from it and move on to the next thing. The uh, same basic idea happens with video that you can use any video that you would upload. You could grab a link to either YouTube, SchoolTube, TeacherTube, uh, you know, Google Video, any of those particular sources that you'd want here. Or you could have video that you create or again that grab feature which would allow you to, to record something and use that. Same thing here with add a player, as was add a frame that you could actually add an interface to play uh, the video, pause and stop and rewind, manipulate volume, things like that. Uh, or you can just let it play, um, you know, with the default player from YouTube or SchoolTube or or TeacherTube. And then there's an available set of libraries of uh, of players that you could use as well in categories down the left, just like images. And the last thing we're going to take a look at real quick in this tutorial is sound, and sound works basically the same way as video, that you could upload any of your uh, sound files that you have access to either from your iTunes library or links from YouTube audio or, again, grab from your sound recorder device. Add a player the same way you did with video and click Use. Once that sound file or video file is added in there, you have some options as to how to you know, edit the effects, the colored effects, if you wanted to make that look a little bit nicer, any shadow or alpha effects the way you did before, and then also settings for the media, whether it should autoplay, what the default volume should be, uh, and then you can certainly apply those changes. So if you want, there you go, uh, the immigrant song. So you can position that wherever you want, set the autoplay options, and then you're good to go. Uh, the drawing wall will give you some basic drawing tools, but that is one of those options that's included in the premium version similar to uh, the data option. And the last option here is simply wall and you've got categories down here down the left side similar to images and video and sound that you can change the page wall design to something that would fit more appropriately for your project and just simply click. You have some options here on the whole page wall some categories down the left there and just click use and browse as you need. Then, as always, come up here and preview or save and publish options as you need. Enjoy.